Hi, David. Good to see you. How are you doing? I'm very well. Thanks, Julie. Yourself? I'm really good, thank you. The sun is shining, so that always makes my day better. Um, and we're going to be talking about some data today, which is making my day even better. Um, so this is part of our series called Data Insight Action, where we take a piece of data, whether it's from focus groups that we've conducted when we were joined by Neil from TA6, or we've been joined by other guests on this series where we've looked at NPS data and other data around um, memberships. Mm -hmm. um, but today we're going to start to talk around ActiveNet and the data that we collate from the event and what we then do with that information in terms of taking data and moving it into actionable insight. Um, so obviously on the back of uh, ActiveNet March 2023, mm -hmm. which was fantastic. Um, David, how do we go about collecting feedback and insight? Well, there's two ways, really. The, the, the first one is this. We put out a, a request to everybody who's taken part um, via the Legendet eFocus platform to say, give us your feedback. Um, and we've done it every year. Um, we always introduce it with, you know, how important it is for us to be able to grow and develop the event. And that delegate feedback is really important to us because that's the only way we can grow. That's the only way we can learn. And the other bit, which isn't represented by the information that's behind us, is the piece around things like how many meetings we actually scheduled, how many meetings actually took part and things like that. So, for example, we scheduled 728 meetings for our March event and 96 percent of those meetings happened when they should have happened. And another two percent actually happened outside of the space because of issues over people having to leave early for childcare and things like that. So we 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 gather quite a lot of data. We use the numbers, but we also look at then actually, what does that mean? What are we hearing from this? Uh, and we always ask if you'd be prepared to be part of a, a development group effectively where we can share ideas with you. And we're just setting one of those up now um, to test a couple of new events that we've got some ideas for. And people who have said, yes, I'd like to take part in that are the first people we get in contact with, of course. Yeah, fantastic. And when you, you know, share numbers like that around the sheer number of meetings that take place that people don't see, it is pretty incredible, isn't it? The amount of um, meetings that take place over two days is just incredible. Yeah. We need that data, obviously. Yeah, absolutely. And that, of course, starts with nearly 1900 meeting requests mm. because everybody gets the chance to request a meeting. Where we don't necessarily deliver them all, but we deliver a lot of them. So, yeah. So you've touched on, David, around, you know, sort of the evolution of the events, development of the events. So why is getting feedback really important to you? Well, it, it's always been really important for us that the ActiveNet keeps its core, the stuff that really works. And we keep repeating that because that's mm -hmm. what our delegates come to expect. But around the fringes of that, it's been vital to make sure that it feels a little bit different. We actually encourage churn. We actually don't want people to come every year. And I know that sounds daft, but if it does, it just becomes the same people talking about the same things time and again. So we love new suppliers or new partners joining us. And we love new operators, buyers in our terminology to, to attend the event. Um, so we have to find things that are different to, to attract those. So, you know, we, we, we sold out this, this year. We sold out with six weeks to go. So we did something, again, very new. Um, it was a, a, a quite a, a challenge. And we, we basically decided we were going to film it and live stream it so that we could share what was a really important theme for the event. And of course, the themes change every time as well. So it's really important that we, we look at the future. We start horizon scanning and start thinking about what that future looks like. Um, and, you know, energy and decarbonisation was something that was suggested by a delegate from a previous year. So um, that's why that's why feedback's important. We need to hear it. We need to do something about it. And we need to make the event feel slightly differently if you do come back for a second year or a third year. Yeah, it's really interesting. A couple of points there around, you know, that churn that we want. And you wouldn't normally hear that from an event. Mm -hmm. You know, we want to, you know, just sort of get bums on seats, so to speak. But actually, we want to keep it real. We want to keep it interesting for, mm -hmm. for the industry. Um, and coming to the innovation side with the recordings, again, you just mentioned there around us staying true to our core values and actually sharing knowledge is really important to mm. us. And for something that's so important to be in a position where we could film and then share those recordings was um, was just great. This yeah, year, it? absolutely. And it, it widens the CPD because, our you know, all of our CPD, our panel sessions and our breakout sessions 
all attract two CPD points from yeah. SIMSPA. So it's about making sure that our colleagues get continuous professional development. And yeah. it was a vital subject. Um, we, we're seeing a lot of investment. You know, we've just seen uh, Sport England announce some money to help us in the, the way that we look at our buildings from an efficiency point of view. Um, so, yeah, it was very timely from that mm, point of view. Definitely. And the recordings, of course, are available now. Mm -hmm. um, so if anyone hasn't, seen them and would like them you can go to our website um, for that information and see the keynote panel session the breakout session so it's great that active net actually continues beyond march uh 2023 yeah. um so with all the data in now from our surveys and anecdotally the feedback that we've been picking up what's next david what are we going to do with this uh data well i think we've already set the theme so the theme is around recruitment and retention of, of team members um, you know, I, I tend to always start looking at the bottom. So those numbers on your the Rana group sessions of 81 percent. OK, so we need to do something there to, to, to think differently about how we deliver that. So maybe a bit more interactivity has been has been the piece mm -hmm. um, for us on that. But we also you know, we need to know that NPS is 90. You know, 90 percent is just an incredible NPS. And, uh, you know, there was 59 people responded. So we've got a good sample into there. And to get a 90 percent NPS is, is is incredibly pleasing. So. I guess for me, the data tells me the things that we're doing well and we need to continue doing. The data then tells me the things that we need to, to ask some questions about, which is where the insight comes from. And then the action is the bit that we've got to take as a result of understanding what people meant when they gave us that 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 piece of feedback around what they can do and then and planning to do things differently. So. We are looking at the, the portal that we use to help with bookings. And you can see there the meeting booking facility at 85% wasn't quite as high as I would have liked it to be. So we're looking at some development and growth in the portal to make that much more user friendly from a point of view of um, our operators uh, and our partners. And I think that's probably another piece. I'm now referring to people as operators and partners rather than buyers and suppliers, because when I spoke to a couple of people, and this was particularly what used to be suppliers and now partners, they just wanted, they, they almost wanted an immediate sale. It was almost about transaction. You know, somebody will come to the event, they'll sit down and talk to me and they'll buy my product there and then I'll get a PO and all will be good. And, and it was really interesting to have the conversation around what a partnership actually means between somebody who's providing a service and somebody who's consuming those services. Uh, and, and that's why the word partner, I think, is a much better place than a supplier, because it is about that long term relationship. It's about making sure that organisations really understand what it is that their consumer is looking for and how that can also help their end consumer, the customer entering into one of our, our leisure facilities, etc. So, yeah, I think I'm rambling a little bit, but I'm hoping okay. that explains what we've done as a result of some of the, the data that we received. Yeah, I know, absolutely. And sort of on your last point there around that changing a language, that's really important to us and where we are in our journey, because, of course, you know, that, you know, everything I've heard about AdTinet is around the relationships that are made, the partnerships that are, are formed, um, and that it isn't, as you say, that transactional, like, here's a PO, let's crack on. This is where the conversation starts. And it could be a year until mm -hmm. something gets over the line. But the fact is that connection is made. Um, I mean, I've shared this story a few times now, but my, my cheeks were literally hurting from walking into the room when all the meetings were taking place because of the positivity, the collaboration, the conversation that you knew was of value because people were there because they wanted to be there and they wanted to be there to ultimately improve whatever it might be. Mm. And that's a pretty amazing place to be, I think. Yeah, absolutely. And I think it, it reinforces the NPS score of 90. You mm. know, NPS is a heart and head. There has to be emotion in here. People have to have that connect that connectivity to something. They mm -hmm. have to trust and believe to give a high net promoter score like 90%. And I think what you've just described is that emotion. It's that feeling that people get when they attend one of our events. Um, and that's something we've worked really hard to create, a very personal touch. But, but I guess making sure everybody, we, we try to understand what everybody's looking for. And we do as much as we can to satisfy all of those people with all of those different needs. Yeah, no, I mean, for such a large event, it certainly felt like a very personal approach. And I think that was a, a very special feeling that was created as a result. So what's new then, David? What's the what's the innovation? Where are we going next? 
Well, I guess, well, next is obviously Creef Hydro up to Scotland, doing an event mm -hmm. up there. Um, we've got some ideas around a private sector event, potentially, um, and actually looking at a totally different sector um, to use the principles that we, we apply to it. But um, I'm going to create a bit of intrigue there. I'm not going to yeah. give too much away. Uh, but yeah, that, that will be fascinating. And for me, a real stretch, um, because the, the you know, the reason we keep it personal and active net is that I can probably tell you the name of 94%, 95% of those those people. I know who they are. Mm -hmm. um, we've had some form of contact. And and to then move into a, a sector and a field that I don't have that relationship with, I think it'll be a real stretch for me. So I'm looking forward to that as well. well it all sounds very interesting. So I guess it's a case of watch this space. Absolutely. Um, I'm sure that will appear in the next series of Data Insight Action. But, um, well, David, thanks for joining me today and uh, for telling us a bit more about how we collate the data and then what we do with that, because obviously that's the most important part. Mm -hmm. um, we all know that data makes us ask more questions rather than answers them. So it's really mm -hmm. great that you've uh, shared that with us today. And, um, yeah, we will see our partners up at the Creef Hydro on the 6th of September, if not before. Absolutely. Brilliant. Thanks, Thank Julie. You, David. Take care. Bye-bye.